Hi, in this video I'd like to take InDesign and with what we started last time and just build on it. So a little bit of extra formatting to font. So I've got some text here and the two ways you can approach it, you can create a text box by using that rectangle frame tool, um, make a rectangle and then you could use your type text tool, go and click inside the rectangle and just type in what you want to type. Or you could create it in Word or have it already in a Word document and just uh, import that um, into the box. Uh, or you could copy it and paste it in. And once it's in here, sitting in this box, you'll notice that it kind of goes on and on and on. So there's a little bit too much. What I want to do is I've created another little rectangle frame tool here, and I want the text to flow into the second column. So I go here where the little red rectangle Okay, it's showing. And, oh, I must select that black text tool. And you'll notice now when I click in that box, I've got some text which is carried with my mouse. So I'm going to take the cursor, click inside the box here, and you'll notice it's, that text has flowed in here. There's now another little box, and I would have to, I could go and choose another rectangle tool. For example, I'll put some text at the bottom there. Make sure I've got the black movement selection tool selected. Click on that box, collect the text, click inside here, and there's still more overflowing, and I would have to go and collect that. So you can have a vast amount of text. You just copy it into the first column, and then just make more columns as you go along to uh, get the text to flow into it. Next thing you might want to do is um, format this a little bit more. So I've made it red, but uh, I want to do some extra formatting. So make sure you've got the black selection tool selected. I've clicked here where the text box is, and you'll notice there's a little um, there's a little rectangle on the side there. If I click right click on that, I can go and get effects. For example, a drop shadow. And I can play with the settings of the drop shadow. So different values for um, X and Y offsets, for example, to make a drop shadow. I could add other effects as well. So if I right click, choose effects, I could also put a bevel and emboss. Uh, so it goes slightly 3D. Um, so there's a lot you can do with a tool. Um, let me see if I can select here as well and go in here. So this text box over here, I've selected it, clicked on the line there, and I go to Effects. And for example, I could go and um, put a drop shadow in. And you'll notice it's now shadowing all the text. That's obviously not quite what, what I want. Um, I could also go in here where I've got the fill, and if I just double click there, choose a color, you'll notice I've now created a, a color for that particular box. And now you can see that the drop shadow uh, is applying to the box itself. So I could go again to this particular one. You'll notice there's a little rectangle just underneath the corner angle. If I right click there, I can choose effects. And I could choose an effect for that. Again, put a drop shadow in. It seems to be applying to the text, but once I go to my fill tool over here and go click, click, I could go and choose, for example, another color. And now uh, that color is coming in and the drop shadow is applied to the box. So there's a lot you could do. Play with it, um, find out, mess it up, really mess it up. Um, and you'll find that uh, it's very rewarding. Oh, one last thing I should show you. If I've got here and I've chosen that picture, you'll notice that there are different selections here, just where it says auto fit. So because I've chosen the picture, the properties here are for the picture as a whole. So if I go through here, it says fill frame proportion. And if I click that, you can see different changes happening. Fit content proportionally. Okay. Fit content to frame. And you'll notice it distorts there. Fit frame to content. Uh, center content. So there are all these options that you can use 
and you can play with them until you can even select auto fit. Um, play with them until you get the effect that you want.